Hello and welcome to FNVR Gaming. My name's Brendan and yeah, it's been a while. Um, I've just jumped into a server, um, uh, I believe it's an Australian, no, it's an American server uh, on Assetto Corsa. Now, if you enjoy content like this or like any of the videos that I upload, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Um, there's a reason why I haven't <laughs> uploaded for a long time and I'm just gonna sort of casually drive and drift and I'll fill you in as to why that is. So today's video is pretty much an update. Uh, so, you know, if you're not really, if you don't really care then that's fine but you should expect to see some more videos again now. I'm driving a Lexus. Um, I've got some new hardware uh, last video, I was using uh, Oculus Rift CV1, and now I'm in uh, a HP Reverb G2, and uh, I've also got an RTX 3090 where I was previously running a uh, I was running SLI 1080s. Not that this well, this game was somewhat optimized for it because I figured out how to do that, but. The 3090 was just like plug and play. Okay, this guy doesn't like me, he just rams me. Back to the pits and we'll try again. Now, um, a big part of the reason why I haven't been uploading is literally because of all of the hardware changes that I just mentioned. Oh my god. Um, I've, uh, I've also just been focusing on work. You guys all know about COVID. I've, um, you know, I had a big break with COVID. I was forced to not work and I've been working. Uh, I've been focusing on, I'm a personal trainer. That's my day job. So I was focusing on, you know, building that up. And I haven't been playing much VR as much as I love it. And then on top of that, yeah, all the hardware changes. So I got the HP Reverb G2. I've also got a Quest 2, which is incredible as well. Both of them are massive upgrades from the CV-1. Um, and the difference between the CV-1 and the HP Reverb for this game in particular is absolutely mind-blowing. However, um, oh, and the other benefit is I used to have to do crazy, like a separate microphone. Oh my God, what a spill out. I used to have to do um, a separate microphone, I used to have to do, um, you know, I had all these driver issues, but now it's really straightforward. Uh, I can just hop in to my racing sim. I've got a good quality mic in the new headset. It's way better than the microphone was in the CV1. Um, so I suppose it's time for me to start practicing more. And I can just jump into games and quickly upload. I suppose for me, the, the biggest barrier is the time setting up. Um, now that's not as big of a problem. And the clarity, I gotta say, if you've got the money to get a 3090 and a HP Reverb G2 and you mostly play Sims, then you won't regret you would not regret the setup that I've got. But I also understand it's a big investment. But you know, I'm 32, I don't have kids, so I get to spend all my money on toys. So it's all context to your lifestyle, isn't it? Now let's see if I can link this track up well. All right, I'm gonna go back to pits and try to do a fresh lap. Oh, that pole. That's got me twice now. Also, I'm not quite happy with this height. Um, now, just an FYI, I don't get crazy good frames, um, especially on public servers, because I've got the HP Reverb G2. The, uh, the headset is essentially a 2K monitor and VR, and it's also um, really shit internet where I am, so it struggles in that regards. But um, yeah, I've 
pretty much got everything turned up to max. So I'm getting about 40 FPS, and fortunately for me, I, uh, I don't struggle with motion sickness in VR games. I've been playing VR since 2016, so it's really not a problem. All right, now this is not a good start. But yeah, all the details up and the graphics up. Oh, that's my favorite car to drift. I'm gonna drift with this guy. Oh no, it's not, that's an RX-7. Okay, he's not gonna drift. See if I can connect this. Handbrake, just tap in it. I'm just gonna gently try to ease into this corner, not overdo it. Just dab the clutch. No, I lost that momentum there. Handbrake. Oh, too much. I haven't played for ages, so I'm real sloppy. And my pedals feel really loose. Still so satisfying when you connect a big drift like this one. I also, last video I did was actually epic smoke that was in the cv1 and i had the smoke dialed up so much couldn't even see i've actually stopped doing that because i just it affected the way i drifted so much oh that guy just rammed me right off the track i gotta work out why my pedals are so loose anyway i've already been on this this video has already gone too long so i'll probably wrap it up in a second i'll just complete this lap um, now, if you've got any videos uh, that you want me to make, like certain games in VR that I may or may not have, or certain challenges you got for me, uh, comment down below. Uh, I'd love for you to hit that, uh, drop a comment and let me know what you what you like that I do and want me to do more of. And uh, also hit the like button. And yeah, like I said right at the start, subscribe if you if you like the kind of content that I typically create. This is a bit of an oddball. Um, oh my god. They wouldn't like me for that. Um, but yeah. I will um, I'll wrap it up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god. They're probably gonna fucking kick me. I'm gonna go around here. Now there's a section of this map that you can do an epic jump. Just check that it's still here. Oh my god, it is. Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's insane. All right, I will be falling through the map. For oh no, I'm back to pits. <laughs> All right, I'll leave on that note. That was fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.